Hello, welcome to Martine's MS video blog, episode number 10. Uh, today is Saturday, the uh, 5th of August, 2023. Just want to tell you uh, that I went for uh, the scan, the MRI scan of the brain and spine uh, last Sunday in Blackrock Clinic, as ordered by Professor Tubridy the previous Wednesday. So that was pretty quick getting it done. However, it was done without contrast. Uh, I did question them at the time. They said it's protocol for Blackrock not to do it with contrast, even though Professor Tubridy requested it. Um, the thing about uh, contrast is it enhances the um, lesions, especially they can tell better if they're active lesions rather than just kind of old damage accumulated. So it's kind of important, especially when I'm being initially uh, assessed for treatment, because they're not going to waste 50 uh, grams worth of uh, Arcravus uh, treatment on me if it's not going to do any particular good and also it carries risks so they're not going to do it uh, without um, uh, benefits versus risk being uh, greater. So I uh, emailed them um, as to why I wasn't given the contrast um, because I didn't get quite a satisfactory answer on the day. I was just kind of um, told oh, it was going to be done and then they kind of decided not to do it anyway. I got a quick reply from the email and they said that although it's not protocol, in this circumstance, they would do it. Uh, so they call me back the very next day um, and that was yesterday, Friday. So they did, they ran the scan with contrast. They had misunderstood uh, that this is an initial investigation for treatment. They had presumed I had undergone loads of scans with contrast before and they said that um, they follow Bowman Hospital protocol um, and they believe gadolinium uh, builds up on the brain and also if you've less than perfect kidney function it can cause um, a skin and joint stiffening syndrome so it's perhaps not great to have too much of it but just once off I think um, for, for uh, an initial scanning it, it was appropriate. Also they mistook that uh, I had been referred as a follow-up uh, by, by Professor Emmett McGrath um, to my admission in Blackrock uh, back in March. Um, I said no, no, I had been abandoned by uh, Professor McGrath and the visiting neurologist Dr Chasm and that I uh, had to go back to my GP to get referred to SVUH uh, Neurology Department. Yesterday lunchtime, uh, I was preparing to go in for the uh, contrast scan and I got a phone call uh, from um, a man with an, an Indian accent. And I mean, at first I did think it was going to be a scam because um, the introduction was a bit slow, um, but it turned out he's a doctor in the neurology department uh, of um, Vincent's uh, hospital. And he said, uh, something has been flagged on your scan. And I thought it was going to be to do with neuro neurology. He said, uh, what's immediately concerning is um, that you have endometrial thickening, a hyperplasia. Uh, it's quite concerning and that we need you to um, go to the gynaecology department. So they're going to arrange um, that. 
uh, obviously it's going to have to be biopsied um, to see um, if it's atypical cells, um, you know, how the thing about aplasia is it's a precursor to um, uh, endometrial cancer. So it's just a matter of getting an appointment uh, to see the gynae team and then they will arrange a biopsy just to see the state of the uh, lining, take the samples and see if there's any aplasia uh, and progress to treatment or management or if there is aplasia hysterectomy. So we'll look at that when we get there. So um, but in the meantime, anyway, I'll see you again in another uh, video blog. Thank you for watching.